A recently released U.N. investigation says Canada's temporary foreign worker program serves as a breeding ground for contemporary forms of slavery. The uh, report yeah, found a significant uh, power imbalance between uh, the employer and uh, workers, uh, with workers' migration status depending on employer-specific uh, closed work permits. Today is not a good day to be an advocate for Canada's temporary foreign worker program. Not only is it coming out that big global chains such as McDonald's and Tim Hortons are using cheap subsidized labor, but now the United Nations has called Canada's program a breeding ground for modern slavery. The temporary foreign worker program uh, serves as what he calls a breeding ground for contemporary forms of slavery um, as it institutionalizes asymmetries, he says, of power that favor employers and prevent uh, uh, workers from exercising their right. It's bad enough for foreign workers in urban settings, but you can't imagine how bad it is for foreign workers in remote or isolated rural regions. I've seen this play out myself. When you're a foreigner working out in the sticks and you have no support system to fall back on, you are totally screwed. Specifically because the program is designed in that way. Some people believe the abuse of the program is all about money. It's not. Plenty of employers want workers they can lock into place. They want people who have zero options. They are looking for bodies with no means of escaping. The subsidized wages? That's just icing on the cake. The UN Special Rapporteur into Contemporary Forms of Slavery points to how many temporary workers are tied to an employer through a closed work permit, meaning they're only allowed to work for the company that sponsored them to come to Canada, leading to examples of what he says is underpayment, wage theft, physical, emotional, and verbal abuse. What I find rich about this is that Justin Trudeau is only a component of this problem. Seriously, temporary foreign worker program has been around for ages, but it's beginning to look like Trudeau is the one who'll be falling on the sword for all previous prime ministers and the parties they represented. Who says karma isn't real? Trudeau's government has failed Canada's immigration system worse than any previous one. The proof can be found in cases like this one. If you don't speak Punjabi, you might not be entirely sure of what you just saw there. It's a video posted to TikTok by a human smuggler who openly advertises his illegal border crossings between Canada and the US. Oddly enough, that video with the concealed faces is a rare one. Most of them are quite open. Imagine boasting of committing any other crime on social media. It would be tantamount to taking yourself into the local police station. This flagrant disregard of our immigration system is also leading to a sharp decline in the quality of foreign workers coming into Canada. Take a look at this example, which clearly shows no one learned about the deadly Saskatchewan bus crash that cost many young hockey players their lives. Can we get a post-game interview? So what happened? What happened? Yeah, I know I can see that, but like, uh, what, what was the thought process? You know? Wow. Wow, that's like a, what year is this thing? Probably like a 2020. Oh. Who knows? Maybe we're just taking all this way too seriously. Maybe we gotta lighten up. I mean, perhaps we should look at the bright side. At least they're adding to our culture by doing things like creating their own Olympic events, such as the cross parking lot synchronized slap fight. <laughs> So what's your take? Are you ready to pay more for what you buy if it means eliminating the temporary foreign worker program? Are you ready to sacrifice your Big Mac or your dark roast double-double in the morning 
if it means putting an end to all this mayhem. Sound off in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing.